Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Gravity, gravitate, bigger sweet spot. Gravity Pro in the house. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Chris Chu. Chris writes, love the tennis spin content, especially the recent trip to Japan. You did a vid in January about the weight of a 16 gauge versus an 18 gauge strings, like the total weight of them. Uh, I was wondering if you do a play test comparing to talk about the differences in feel between thin versus heavy gauge of same string model. Cheers. Okay, that's actually not a bad idea. I can kind of tell you what I'm going to feel already, but um, yeah, we could definitely do that. Okay, Chris, thanks for the coffee and thanks for the content suggestion. We will uh, do that in a future video. All right. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to contribute to the channel? Super thanks is the way. You can contribute as much or as little as you like. Link is below. All right. Cheers to you guys. Appreciate you a lot. All right, so the, the Pete's peeps basically said, um, we are doing anniversary blend today just for you. I wish I could have taken you there today. They were like, okay, you're the guy. And I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, oh, you're the guy that doesn't like Major Dickinson. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't say I didn't like it. I was like, I'd rather have something else. <laughs> And since your board over there says uh, Ethiopian Supernatural, which I've literally had three times in the last month and a half, and now you got Anniversary Blend, in which I've had once, um, you're promoting it, but you don't serve it. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, you're the guy. <laughs> <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> so Anniversary. Happy Anniversary to Pete's, and thank you for making me Anniversary, okay? It's not my celebration, it's yours. Make the, make the coffee, all right? Anyways, enough about my griping, <laughs> about my dark roast. All right, let's talk about gravity today. We got Gravity Pro in the house. This is probably gonna be my favorite one as it is heavier. Um, 200 in their power spectrum that is probably the lowest because i don't know of a racket under that i haven't seen a 150 i definitely haven't seen a 100. what does that tell us this is a very flexible frame low on the power spectrum okay now looking at my board from the original ones that we did when I introduced the racket. This racket is 315 unstrung, which is 11.1 ounces. So I strung it up with my favorite black string, put an overgrip on it, and let's check out how much it weighs. Now, as you guys all know, I don't use an overgrip. So I'm doing this for the benefit of whoever I'm playing, okay? Because that's how I roll. I care about who I'm playing, okay? So it ain't all about, you know, league tennis and, oh, I hate my opponent. They shouldn't get a practice court. They don't give us one at our place. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got 336. And then we got 11.9, okay. 336119. Okay. Yes. 
check out the balance here. So the strange thing about heads is that when they measure balance on their placards, on their own website, in the specs, they go by a different number. Instead of something points head light or something, um, something centimeters or millimeters, they go by like inches, which throws kind of me off and throws everybody else off. Uh, so it's kind of the Austrian measurement of balance or something. Okay, three, it's like 324, 323, 24-ish, right in there somewhere. That's actually a pretty good plow. That's gonna give me some good plow. Three, two, let's say three, two, three point five. Okay, three, two, three point five. Okay. Now, more to know about this racket is that it is a dense string pattern. It is an 18 by 20. It is the only 18 by 20 in the line that we have in America. There is a tour version that is also that way, but is not available to us. It may be in certain circles, but not available to the pro shops, okay? So as you can see, it is a dense string pattern. It is a wide head, one of the more wider heads on the market. What does a wider head do? Well, it makes it flex up here when you strike it. It is a thinner beam. What does that mean? Control, okay? Huh. We ready to try it? See you on the court. All right, so we are pleasantly surprised about something since we just got off the court with this Gravity Pro. I'm kind of in a state of shock because I didn't think that I would like it, but let's see if Coach Chris liked it and thought the same way. Coach? Gravity Pro, great racket. Uh, <laughs> I think they did a good update on it. Uh, I definitely think it is a bit on the stiffer side compared to the last one, but they do play very similarly from last year's model. 1820 string pattern, so it does feel a little bit denser, but actually after hitting a few times with it, it definitely, out of all the other 1820s, this one doesn't feel as much like an 1820. It does feel more like a 1619. Um, it's definitely on the heavier side for sure. If you like a racket, that's a bit heavier. Um, but... I can definitely see um, with the whole two aesthetic of it too as well. They're they're really making a push to get you guys to really try this racket. It's a great update to the line, um, and I think you guys should try it definitely for sure. All right, Coach Jared. Yeah. So uh, I think all in all, Head has done a great job with their auxetic technology. Um, I think the previous version of the Gravity Pro was on my list of rackets to try at the uh, when I was kind of going through that whole racket phase. Again, Harry knows about that. Um, the previous version was a little bit too flexible for me. I think there wasn't enough stability in the throat area for the most part. So anytime someone would give me a hard shot, I had a hard time kind of blocking it back. Um, this new one, I agree with Coach Chris, it's a little bit more stiff in a way, but at the same time, I think it's a little bit more stable. So I think... Uh, 
yeah, when he was hitting some hard shots at me, I was able to stick the racket out, kind of use the weight of it to uh, push the shot back. Um, I'm also a big fan of 100 square inch rackets that have the 18 by 20 string pattern. So I think a 16 by 19 string pattern on, on 100 square inch is a little bit too much pop. And a tighter string pattern kind of helps you dial it in a little bit. So um, yeah, I think it's a mixture of solid weight, solid string pattern, um, and good update to the gravity line. And I'm a big fan of this one. Wow, that's a great way to sum it up. It sounds like you're a fan of it, Coach Jared. Yeah, as with most rackets. <laughs> <laughs> He's got love-hate with him. You know, he loves them now. Maybe he'll hate them later. Um, I actually agree with Coach Jared in that they don't do too many hundreds in thin because uh, that's a 20 beam, 18-20 uh, with this kind of a shape. So it's flexible, but you get a slightly bigger head. Um, is that the first time they do that oval shape? No, this, no the whole line's been this way. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I mean is like, uh, I think that's probably partly why it doesn't feel like an 1820. Mm -hmm. Like a normal, like what Djokovic plays with, that 1820 speed racket. Yeah, his is 95 actually. Yeah, and I think this oval shaped pattern really provides that 1619 like power that you get. Yeah, that 1619 feel on it. Yeah, see that shape really gives you that flex. And I guess it feels like they firmed it up here. In the I think throw. they did. Yeah. I think they did. It feels a lot more stable, you know, in the throat area and feels great on shots. Too, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. No, I, I, I know the RA is going to be low on this. They, they claim it's going to be like 62 uh, right in that realm. But I don't think it feels that way. I don't think it feels that way. Um, but how do you say this word again? Auxetic. Auxetic. Well, I think it's auxetic. I could say ascetic. Where's the, where's the S? Ascetic. 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 Whatever. Anyways, os, ass, whatever. <laughs> Great update to the frame. I wasn't a fan of the old ones because it felt floppy. This is nice and firm. I don't know why, but they just did a good job with it. All right. Coach Jared's going to continue to try it. Coach Chris likes it. Um, we'll see where this lies. You guys, if you're a gravity fan and you're a gravity pro fan, Definitely just get this one. It's definitely right up your alley. I think Jerry Jang's going to get this one. I think so, too. All right. Yeah. Guys, thank you uh, for joining me. Coach Jared, where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right. He'll probably be posting a review of, for this by himself, too. All right. Coach Chris, where you at? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin where we put our spin on your tennis. Do you go on the court and play mindlessly, not knowing what you're doing, not knowing how you're gonna win? Do you just counter punch whatever's coming at you? Are you the counter puncher or are you the aggressor? Do you know when to run a play? The singles playbook and the doubles playbook will tell you exactly how to do that. My man Will at Fuzzy Yellow Balls wrote these books with his many years of experience of teaching and collaborating with pros to easily teach you how to run a tennis play. It's as easy as that. Check out the plays on these books there's a QR code you can scan and it'll show you in a video how to do it. Then you can practice it, run your play, and win your point. Check it out at Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Link is below.